Hello, this is a quick walkthrough video on how the zoom proctoring is going to work for the upcoming midterm. Okay, so this video is just to make the process seem a little less scary and a little more approachable. Okay, I'll be walking through steps one through eight as if I'm a student and I'll be narrating the whole time to kind of explain what's been going on. Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is create a zoom call with only yourself and start a local or cloud recording. Okay, I'm going to get rid of photo booth because we're going to be using Zoom. I only had photo booth open so you guys can see my face in the beginning. Okay, so I'll create a meeting. And I want to emphasize that this meeting that you guys create, the link should be the exact link that you send us in the Google form. Okay, so double check if that's the case. So I've created the Zoom meeting. Now it says record on this computer or record to the cloud. So right here, there's two choices. You record on this computer or record to the cloud. The difference is record on this computer records the meeting on your computer and you need at least five gigabytes of space in order to do this just on the safe side record to the cloud if you don't have the space on your computer you could record to the cloud recording to the cloud is completely fine and just sometimes might take a while to send you the email okay so in this case we'll just record on this computer this meeting is being recorded nice okay let's quickly minimize that so the next step that we have here is to hold your photo ID next to your face for at least three seconds. Okay, perfect. So I'll take my photo ID and I got my Cal ID here. So I'll hold it up to my face and then I'll say my name, Soham Samir Holyalker. Okay, so after this, I'll put my ID back and that's the only time in this recording process that you guys actually need to talk. The rest of this narration you guys don't have to do, that's just me walking the, you guys through the process. Okay. So the next thing it says is to rotate your camera to give a 360 degree view of your room as well as an aerial view of your desk. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly get up and you guys will see my room. Let me enlarge in the zoom. Okay, so the 360 degree view, it should be slow, it should be gradual. So you guys can kind of see what I mean. Okay, so this is my desk, okay? And then we'll quickly rotate to the side. And you guys can see my bed. And then I have some photos. Nice. And then you guys can see a mirror. Nice. Okay, so now we're back at the desk where we started. And the next step is to show an aerial view. Okay, so we can go up to my desk and then look down. Okay. So you guys can see that the only things on my desk are my Cal ID, my scratch paper, my written notes, a water bottle and a pencil, okay? So this is basically what's allowed to be on your desk. If you guys take a step back, there aren't any papers in the vicinity and this is how it should look. Okay, so let's keep going with the rest of the steps, nice. More than halfway there. Good job, team. Okay. Do, do, do. Okay. The next step is to share your desktop in the Zoom call. Okay. Actually, one thing before we share the desktop, I want to emphasize that if you guys see my desk, I do have an external display, but it's rotated completely away from the screen. Okay. So if you guys have an external display, it should be like this. It should be rotated away. It doesn't take long. It takes like 10 seconds. You guys can put in the effort. <laughs> okay, so back to this. The next step is to share your desktop in the Zoom call. To do that, you'll click share screen. Then you'll click the desktop button, okay? It's very important that you click desktop because we want to see all the applications open, not just your Safari, okay? Nice. So now you guys can see that after I share a screen, a little me appears in the top right corner, which should be the case for all of you. Okay, so share the desktop. You should see yourself in the top right corner. Nice. So on your screen at this point, there should only be Prairie Learn, Ed, and your view in the top right corner. Okay, so assume that Prairie Learn is this document just for the sake of this video, and then the Zoom self view should be showing your face, okay? Since this is an online exam, we want to make the process as conducive to, for you guys. So we don't want the laptop pointed out at an awkward angle or something. We want it 
comfortable for how you guys take an exam, but we also want to see your face, okay? So it shouldn't be pointed up like this, or something like weird. It should just be like comfortable showing your face as if you guys are normally part of a Zoom call. Okay. So my laptop's kind of dying right now, but hopefully it's fine for you all. Okay, the next thing it says is, do 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 do. During the test, the recording must consist of your laptop's desktop, exactly as detailed in the previous step. Okay, and what's important is you guys must have audio on for the entirety of the midterm, right? Even though you guys aren't talking, we want to make sure the audio is on in case there's like some background noises and to prevent you guys from like calling your friends. Okay, and then emphasizing once more, don't use another display. This is not allowed. Okay, so once you guys have finished with the exam, there will be a completion button in the Prairie Learn Assessment, which you guys will see during the practice assessment. Okay, so you'll click the completion button. Then you want to show the date to make sure that it's the date of the actual assessment. Okay, so then that's basically all in the video proctoring process. For the practice assessment, you'll walk through the exact same thing that I just did, just to make sure you guys get familiar with the process. We know it's a lot to like throw this new process in, but it's an online semester. So hopefully we can make the change. Okay, so the last thing is once the exam is completed, you guys can stop your recording and then you will send us a link to the Zoom cloud recording or you'll upload the local recording to your Google Drive, get a shareable link and send that to us. And there'll be a Google form sent out after the midterm containing those steps. Yeah, and then one last, last thing it says here, if you need to use the bathroom, there's a small process. You'll basically just tilt your laptop down like this, and then you'll put your phone on your desk. Okay? So that's all for this video walkthrough. Hopefully it helps, and yeah, good luck.